Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you seven ways of sorting out problems with your Windows Store. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we're going to go through a few steps on how to remedy faults with your Windows Store, whether you can't update apps or it's just not responding, not opening, all those kinds of things. We've got some tips here which should hopefully sort all that out. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is to use the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter. And that one's really easy. All you need to do is press the Windows key and I to bring up your control panel or your settings, and then go into Update and Security, and then go over to Troubleshoot and click on Additional Troubleshooters. And scroll down until you see Windows Store Apps. Click on that and then click on Run the Troubleshooter. This will go through detecting problems and running the diagnostic, and this will take a little while, so be patient. And once that's done, you can close the troubleshooter and try and reopen your Windows stores. Number two, now this is a really simple one, and that is just to make sure that your Windows time is correct. So go down to the time, and then click on Adjust Date and Time, and good way of doing it, just turn the time automatically on and off, toggle that on, and you can also do the time zone automatically, that sort of thing, and click on sync now, and that will sync the time, and then hopefully your time should be correct. If it was wrong, this should do it, and also this kickstarts Windows into recognizing the right time. It might be worth doing a restart after this, and then try and open the store once more. So number three, resetting the Microsoft Store. Now this one's a pretty easy one again. All we need to do, again, press the Windows key and I, go into apps, and scroll down through the apps until you find your Microsoft Store. Click on it, and advanced options, and scroll down a little bit more, and then you can click on reset. So reset, this is if the app isn't working correctly, reset it, the app's data will be deleted. This doesn't affect any downloaded apps or anything you've purchased, but it'll reset the store. There's a pop-up message saying this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's better to have those reset than not being able to access the store at all. So click on reset, and there we go, it's done. So all you need to do now is close down this window, and then you can try and open up the store once more. On to number four, how to clear the store's cache. Now again, this is quite an easy one. All we need to do is press the Windows key and R for the run command dialog box, and in this box, all we need to do is type in ws reset.exe, which stands for Windows Store Reset, and then hit enter or click OK. You'll get the command box come up, and it'll do a few little bits and pieces in the background. And when it's done, it should close and automatically open up the store. And it all appears to be working. Excellent. Okay, so on to number five. So this is how to reset the Windows Update Agent, which is also part of the Windows Store and the two work in tangent. Luckily, Microsoft have got a script which will actually do this for you, so nice and easy to do. So all you need to do is go to this link, and I'll put this link in the video description, and you can download this file, which is reset Windows Update Engine.zip. So click on that one, and you have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then you can download it. I'm going to download this to my desktop. And now we can show it. It's actually a zipped file, so you need to right-click on it and choose Extract All. And we'll extract it to the same place. And then we've got a setup diag.exe. So double-click on that. And you'll get this information come up, the user account control. Just click on Yes. And this will go through doing the update. Or rather, the diagnostic. This could take a little while, so... Uh, just leave it be and it will get on and do its own thing. And once that's done, you can close down all the open windows, restart your computer, and you should be able to access your Microsoft Store. Now the next one is to make sure that you're not using some form of proxy to access the internet. This can really badly corrupt the Windows Store and make it unable to be accessed. So all we need to do is press the Windows key and I to get up the control panel again, and just type in proxy and change proxy settings. 
If you've got this here set to use a proxy server, just make sure this is turned off. And if setup script is on, again, turn that off. Automatic detect settings, you can toggle that on and off. And just make sure you basically haven't got a manual proxy set up. This can happen if you're working from maybe a, a workstation in a company, that kind of thing. Uh, or maybe you may have a virus which has actually diverted your traffic through another source. So that's a good one to try. You can try that then again, reset your computer, go back in and see if you can access the store. So the last one is number seven, and this is to re-register the Microsoft Store into your Windows 10 device. Now for ease of use, I'm gonna put these commands actually in the video description, so you can copy and paste them. There are two versions, there's one for Windows 10 and there's one for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Depending on which version you're using, you need to copy and paste these. So I'm gonna copy these already. Choose copy. Now what we need to do is open up a PowerShell command. And right click and make sure you're running it as administrator. And you'll get the user account control box come up. Just click on yes. And then control V or right click and paste. And then you can put the command into the PowerShell. Hit enter. And it'll go ahead and do it. As you can see there, it's put the codes in there and it's gone back to the Windows System 32 command. So that's it, we're all done. So you can close down all the windows you've got open, restart the computer, and hopefully, fingers crossed, if you go to the Microsoft Store, it should open up. So there we go, there's seven hopefully helpful tips to try and get your Microsoft Store back up and running and working as it should do. This also references the NVIDIA driver video, which we did uh, a day ago, which I did mention this, that to make sure your store is working to enable you can get the NVIDIA control panel working. So the two videos kind of work together. So if you're struggling with the other one, check this one out and vice versa. So anyway, that wraps things up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.